implementation is a frequent problem encountered in restorations fabricated on overprepared teeth. Teeth shorter than 4 mm or greater than 15 degrees taper are in the risk group. Traditional powder liquid glass ionomer cements with approximately 5 MPa bone strength may be inadequate for short and over tapered teeth, while resin modified glass ionomer cements reaching 11 MPa adhesion values for enamel and dentine may be preferred for such cases. Similarly, they might be a solution for frequently decementing implant restorations. If the abutment is shorter than 4 mm, shifting to resin-modified glass ionomer cements is nearly a must. Post-cementation pain is a frequent problem in shoulder preparations. Since resin-modified glass ionomer cements are less soluble than traditional ones, as well as with their high fluoride releasing capacity reaching approximately 660 ppm, they are effective in reducing tooth sensitivity, especially stemming from the marginal line. Mixing ratio is very important in resin-based cements, therefore using auto-mixing systems becomes important as well. Besides, since neither the silanization of the restoration nor the use of primer or adhesive on the tooth are required in resin-modified glass oenomere cements, their practical use and moisture control remain on the forefront. Only over-drying should be avoided. Finally, cements allowing pre-light curing should be preferred for easy excess removal around hardly reached papilla regions. A cement becoming in gel form in 5 seconds can be easily removed.